how's everybody doing and what's up and if you love this video remember to like this video and remember to comment about what you think about this video also you can leave a video response which is even better you can favorite this video so you can watch it over and over again and if you already haven't please add me as a friend subscribe and add me to your other channels page on YouTube now we can see my latest and greatest and newest video ASAP so you won't have to miss on this, uh, out on a second on my latest and greatest most incredible video alright so this is Lord of the Rings more in the north for the Xbox 360 it's also for the PS3 on the front you have two of the three Nazgul and I think over here is Mordorus I think those are the two Nazgul and over there you've got I think the Ranger, Champion, and Loremaster. Let's look at the back real quick. Images that you can expect to see in the game. If not, why else would they be on there? And it was, I was choosing, I got this today, and I got the pre-order code. So I have the, I think it's called the Human Pack. Which is fantastic because DLC is Never a bad thing. Alright, so I, I think I got this case, this Xbox 360 game. Xbox 360 case. It's going to be open rather quickly. And um, this game has three player online um, multiplayer. So send a message to Dire Legend 13 if you're interested in doing the call campaign mode together and doing a commentary together. Alright, I'm really looking forward to playing this game. I love Lord of the Rings. Uh, basically, it was between this game or Uncharted 3, and I chose Lord of the Rings over Uncharted 3. Because I love Lord of the Rings. No Trolls is an amazing game that's free to play. And Lord of the Rings 1 the Norse is probably going to be fantastic as well. Alright, so we have the disc over here. What else would you guys expect? Plastic is missing as well. I need the disc, so I hope the disc disc works. If your standard manual that has a cover art from the Xbox 360 case, there's plastic missing here as well. It shows you the controls. This manual was, let's see here, I think it's six pages to be exact. All right. So remember that um, comment in, liking this video, favoriting this video, adding me to your friends list if you already haven't, subscribing if you already haven't, and adding me to your other channels list if you already haven't. It really benefits you. You may be asking yourself why. Well, maybe one of the reasons is it, is it inspires me to make more excellent videos. And the second reason is, the larger my community grows, the more contests I'll be hosting, and you guys can win a lot of free cool prizes. And the larger my community grows, just remember, the more contests I'll be hosting. Another reason why is, I'm going to try to start up a game community, which would be fantastic, because recently, online video games have become antisocial. For example, the Wii doesn't have a mic, except if you get one separately, and then I think it only works with Call of Duty Black Ops. The PlayStation 3 doesn't come with a mic, and the Xbox 360, even though it comes with a mic, people rarely ever use it. And it's an issue when, I guess, online multiplayer games are dependent on communication in order to win the match. So, for example, if you're playing TFT2 and your team's unable to hear you, hear you, the, unable to hear you, the medics probably not going to heal you, the next not going to uber you when you want him to, you're not going to know where the engineer teleporter is unless you get lucky, or if you're playing Call of Duty and you're getting swarmed by the other team and your team's not communicating and everyone's dispersed, it's going to be much harder to survive, you're not going to have people next to each other to avenge each other's deaths, and it's much harder to get kills when you're shooting at the enemy as opposed to when five people are shooting at the enemy at once, so communication is key to success 
for winning these ranked online matches. It makes it just a lot easier rather than everybody dispersing it doing their own thing. Also by commenting and leaving a video response, this basically gives you free advertising, free marketing, you get a discussion going and it leaves a link to your page if you like a video. And remember commenting, people may click on your username or they may watch the video response and then I guess that's just building up I guess your fan base. Also, if you like a video, people can see your recent activity if you have that enabled, and they may suggest something to you that you may like as well. And just by being a subscriber, by being in, in my subscriber box, or in, my, in my friend box, people may check that out, and they may say, oh, look, that guy has a cool channel icon and a cool name. Let me click on his name in the friend sister subscriber icon. And then they're on your channel, and then that's another potential, I guess, it's another potential way to build up your community. So, also, please post your sauce. I would love to hear what you guys think about this game, though. And it's got two to three player co op, so I look forward to hearing your opinions. And thanks for watching this video. There's going to be fantastic videos about this game to come videos about playthroughs, walkthroughs, reviews. So, I hope you guys love the video. And have a great day, and I'll see you guys later.